Hi guys. So it's lunchtime and I am just laying down in bed watching a movie, watching Netflix and Prime. Um, I'm starting to feel really tired. So every day I start to feel extremely tired around lunchtime ish. Um, sorry about the noises there's work going on outside uh, so breast implant illness is a real thing if you're new to this channel I suggest you subscribe and listen to all of my symptoms all of my healing and recovery story and how I get through the hell that is breast implant illness it has been, it has been, <sighs> six years ago I did get breast implants and they were silicon, they were mental and one of them ruptured because I got attacked by a male that I met online and didn't know him and he just attacked me and there goes the implant, it ruptured, actually exploded and that was stressful enough. Then I went to the doctors and they all said, don't panic, you'll be right, it's fine, the capsule will protect you. Problem is there wouldn't have been a capsule because they were only in there for like two to three months. So, uh, and then I finally got the money probably five to eight months later to go and get them replaced and remember I didn't know anything about breast implant illness or cancer or anything like that so I just got them replaced with bigger ones the same brand mentor and um, they didn't look good they felt I felt sick when I woke up and the doctor had come to me and said to me uh, he said, I have left silicon in you. Outside my door, outside my window. Um, the doctor said, I've left silicon in you, you'll probably get cancer one day. And you'll probably get really sick. And he had the worriest look on his face. So that was that. Um, so then I knew he had left a silicon in me. And obviously the capsules, if there was any, which there probably wasn't, to be honest, um, to be fair. And if there was, they would have been very thin. So years went on. Um, I got back to, oh, a couple of weeks went on, I got back to Australia. And um, a couple of days later, and I felt so sick. I had pains in my heart, my stomach. Um, I had pains in my legs. Uh, felt like blood clots. And I had um, exhaustion and I got fat within two weeks. And I was super fit and toned up and I was a pole dancer so I looked really really fit and beautiful my body physique was just perfect and um, saying that I will say that yeah this is gonna be just a part one to how it all began um, and I do apologize for the noise I have workers outside putting stuff on the roof so, I got them, came back to Australia, um, getting symptoms, got cellulite, never had any cellulite or fatness in my life, I've always been a fit um, person, uh, always worked out, always bushwalked, always exercised and loved it. I had a flat toned stomach, every muscle in my body was fit and toned and muscly. Um, I was on the treadmill twice a day, I mean, sorry, two hours a day or an hour a day sometimes, um, three to four times a week, if not every day. I was really fit and I ate healthy, I didn't drink, didn't smoke, anything like that, didn't take drugs. So I was a very healthy person before implants. And then I started getting sick after the replacement rupture. So that is part one to what happened to me, which is 
style it off go with my symptoms. And yeah, it's been six years of hell. Um, in between, uh, it is 2022 now, and two months ago I had my fourth operation, which was skipping to the end now. I'm going to have more, more episodes. Um, in a minute I'm just gonna record more but um so yes so I've just had my fourth operation to remove the four capsules that were left in me um, two years ago I had a third operation which was to just remove the implants and it was a botch job because he was supposed to get the capsules out but he didn't and he butchered me up butchered my nipples up butchered my breasts up and left a bunch of silicon in me which made me so sick I ended up with 130 symptoms fibromyalgia loss of sight my hair's fallen out it's almost all gone um, hot flushes menopause um, freaking huge stomach bloated stomach um, Uh, mental blank uh, started getting tinnier um, really bad headaches and migraines throat pains as I said um, sweating hot flushes just which I'm getting one right now um, and the heat just can't my body couldn't uh, regulate its temperature so in this winter winter or summer I couldn't like make myself comfortable like my body would just overreact it would get way too hot or it would get way too cold and um, that sucked and uh, vertigo I got vertigo so bad just before the last um, two years ago operation 2020 which just removed the implants just before that happened I was getting really bad vertigo and actually I was hospitalized because of that. I um, was walking into a shop getting ready for my operation to get some pajamas which is shut. I got and fell over and was dizzy for like a whole day and night with vertigo and I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't um I literally couldn't look after myself but I had to because I was single and no one else would look after me so I just had to get by because I had to no other choice and um, yeah um, I was hospitalized <sighs> that was bad and I was getting dizzy spells as well um, going blind and getting numb uh, limbs uh, also I was so exhausted and tired that I would collapse and if I was on the ground, grabbing something off the ground or bending down, I'd try to get up and my muscles were so weak I couldn't lift myself up to stand up. I'd have to push myself up with my hands. Um, another thing is, another thing um, that was happening was, um, yeah, weakness and my hand. So I'd get a cold, so just for instance, I'm just for an example, um, this would happen to my legs and body parts, right, so it would move around my body, it's really weird, my hand and my arm, it's like numb, right now, pins and needles, and I'd get pins and needles throughout my whole body, um, tiredness and fatigue to the extreme, so I tried to mow the lawn, and I was so exhausted, puffed out and overheated that I collapsed for three hours unconscious and that would happen to me all the time just from vacuuming or anything. Um, it still happens to me now, not as severe. Um, so it got really bad that time and um, then I got the operation and it was a botch job and he ended up leaving the silicon in which went against the whole idea of getting the operation in the first place. So that was in 2020 <sighs> so um, you have to get the capsules out and all of the diseased tissue otherwise you continue to get sick 
Now, um, fast forwarding to, oh, let's talk about the brain fog. Okay, the brain fog's really bad. It affects your speech. So you're thinking something and it's coming out all muddled and jumbled and backwards and like just mixed up like you've had a stroke. It's it's like you've had a stroke. Um, the silicon would definitely would have migrated through me. So um, it is proven that the silicon is in your body parts. Um, in fact, you guys can look it up. There's a paper that was done, an autopsy of a woman who had silicon breast implants and the silicon went through a whole body and like oh that doesn't look good and um just like went all through her body and killed her eventually so they tested all of her parts her brain her heart her whole body every tissue in her body and um they said that there was silicon in every single part of her so it migrated and uh, this was years ago. You can look it up, um, an autopsy of a woman. Um, I'm trying to remember the name. Dr. Dinkelman did the report. And a couple of other doctors have done stuff. Just look up things to do with, with all the breast implant illness and stuff like that. Um, not to mention, it causes cancer. Mm. Breast implants cause cancer. A million, hundred percent, no doubt, fact. Breast implants cause breast implant illness. 100% no doubt fact. And I have it. And I am trying to be happy and get through it each day. And um, yeah, I've done it tough because I've been botched too many times. So I am on the side of the worst case scenario. So don't be scared, you may not get sick unless you've had silicon in you and migrated and whatnot. So don't worry. As long as you, if you start to get sick, you start to get sick, you will get your capsules out and your breast implants. So what else? Um, I'm just trying to think of the symptoms. Oh, bowel problems too, but I'm still on the brain thing. Uh, I've forgotten how to spell. I've forgotten how to talk. Um, so basically stroke stuff. Um, memory loss, severe memory loss and confusion. Uh, so there's dementia symptoms. We call it brain fog, but it is dementia symptoms. Um, which can be reversed with an explant if done correctly. Uh, also, let's see. Oh yeah, mind blanks. So you know how when you drink, if you drink, you have blackouts. Well, I wasn't even drinking, and I was having blackouts all the time for the last couple of years. I still do, and I'm just like finding myself just sitting there like that like a stun mullet, like a zombie just and then um like not even remembering I said or did something like I made a coffee or I've sent an email or I've said something to someone and I've said it like five times and they say you know you've sent that email four times already the same one that's really 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 frustrating people think you're a nutcase or you're on drugs I don't know what they think, but they think you're crazy. Um, you say things over and over and over and repeat yourself. Um, I'm really paranoid, affecting my emotions, my mind, my thinking, my mental state was crazy. Just overthinking everything. Just thinking something and then I go to another thing and then I'm trying to concentrate on that and then I'm going to another thing and I just can't focus on anything for very long. Oh, it's insane. It's insane. It's insane. That's a little bit of my story and what has happened to me. Um, I haven't had vertigo for a couple of years now, thank God. And I get blind too. 
So sometimes my vision will go completely gone and just almost black. So then I can I literally, literally, I can't see anything. So my vision's really bad too. And now I wear glasses. <sighs> so um, before breast implants, I had 20-20 vision and I have evidence of that because I used to get eye tests every year. And now my vision is, I've lost 30% of it really sucks but I'm not letting it beat me I'm gonna keep trying to be positive and happy keep trying to live my life and do what I can to make myself happy but um yeah so that'll be for now bye guys